If you love train travel, hit that subscribe button. We upload at least once a week, and this way you won't miss any of our content. You can also join our community on Patreon. Your support gives you access to cool features such as early video releases. And finally, follow us on our social media, Instagram and TikTok. My dreams are awesome. Thank you for allowing me to be a guest vlogger today from Zurich, Switzerland. Travel is opening up again, so we are in Switzerland for a business trip. I'm exploring Zurich today. For our journey today, we are taking the Zurich S-Bahn, the city train network, from Rümlang Station to the Utliberg Mountain on the outskirts of Zurich. Our first train is an RE450 train running on Route S9. Route S9 begins in Schaffhausen and actually stops at two stations in Germany before crossing back over the border into Switzerland and making its way to Zurich from the north. It passes under Zurich main station and then continues east towards Uster. The train we are on is an RE450. These are the most common trains on the Zurich S-Bahn network. They are made up of a locomotive pulling three double-deck passenger coaches, the back of which has a control unit. Our service is operated by SBB CFF FFS. This is the Swiss Federal Railways, and why is their abbreviation so long? Well, it's a trilingual name in German, French, and Italian. Urlikon. About halfway on our trip is Zurich Erlikon station. Long distance train stop here and it's a convenient station to transfer to a train bound for Zurich airport. The trains we see out the window are the relatively new twin deck Swiss Express. Opinions on these trains are mixed. I haven't been on them, but I think the exterior looks really nice. We have a video where we sh recorded several trains pulling in and out of Zurich Erlikon including a Stadler Giruno, so make sure to check that video out. Nächster Halt, Zürich Hauptbahnhof. Dieser Zug fährt weiter als S9 nach Stadelhofen, Stettbach, Uster. We arrive at Zürich Hauptbahnhof in an underground tunnel. Zürich Hauptbahnhof, or main railway station, is so large that trains are handled on several different levels. Aside from the main floor, which we will show you in a bit, which is the main long distance and international departure area, there are two tunnel platforms operated by the SBB. There's our tunnel, which is only used by S-Bahn trains, and then there is a separate tunnel which is primarily used by S-Bahn trains, but also by long distance trains traveling through Zurich.
now that we're at Zurich Hauptbahnhof, let's check out the main departure hall. Zurich Hauptbahnhof is one of the busiest train stations in the world, with almost 3,000 daily departures. There are 26 platforms on the upper level, and these serve domestic long-distance trains, regional trains, as well as international trains. The last time I was here, I got on a Austrian railjet service to Budapest in Hungary. There's ICE trains to Germany, TGV trains to Paris and France, and even overnight sleeper trains to places like the Netherlands and Croatia. Not to mention frequent service to Milan in Italy. Besides Zurich being in a nice central location for Europe, it also has an enormous railway station because it is a large city. It is by far the largest city in Switzerland. The city itself has about 400,000 people living in it, but the entire metropolitan area is pushing close to 2 million. Like many Swiss cities, it's situated on several lakes and the natural landscape combined with the old houses makes for beautiful scenery. Over there, we're just casually looking at the Alps. Nice. Welcome to the old city of Zurich, a beautiful part of the city where um, lots of old houses, old churches, so definitely worth visiting. Now let's head to a spot where you can see the city of Zurich from one of these mountains. We're heading towards the Udliberg, and while I'll explain our destination once we get there, let's talk about how to get there. We are going to be taking Zurich S-Bahn line S10, which is not operated by SBB like our previous train, but by the SZU, the Siltal Zurich Udliberg Bahn. These trains leave from separate platform underneath the city Hauptbahnhof. Next part of our trip is a trip up the mountain, the Utlibeck. So let's go. Our journey to Utlibeck will take 20 minutes today. Now, before we head up the mountain, it's worth explaining what the SZU is, because it's a very unique railway. The SZU stands for Siltal Zurich Utlibergbahn. It is a collection of two standard gauge railways. One is the Siltal Railway, which runs from Zurich Hauptbahnhof to Zilwald and is electrified at 15,000 volts. This may seem like a random fact, but it becomes important later. And then there's the Utliberg Railway, electrified at 1,200 volts. This shares tracks with the Siltal Railway up until after Zelnau station, after which it continues to Utliberg. Now, both lines have different voltages, but they do share tracks. So how does that work? Well, there are two rails in the tunnel, one for 15,000 volts and one for 1,200 volts. Now, the Zilwald bound trains 
on line S4 use the regular middle rail, but the Utliberg Bahn trains have a special pantograph mounted to one side of the train, which allows it to collect power from the dedicated 1200 volt rail. The Utliberg Railway was opened in 1875. It is 10 kilometers or six miles long. So a very short journey. Along the way, our train stops in several Zurich suburbs, including Trimli, where one of the city's main hospitals is located. We climb up to a height of about 813 meters at our final destination, the Utliberg. The train station on Utliberg is located about 56 meters below the summit of the mountain. Now, for such a short distance, that's quite a height to overcome. And the Utliberg railway is the steepest standard gauge adhesion railway in the world. What is an adhesion railway? It is a railway that just uses steel wheels on steel rails to climb up a mountain rather than a cable or a cogwheel. Now the steepest adhesion railway in the world is the Lisbon tram system, however those trams use a much narrower gauge, making this the steepest standard gauge adhesion railway. The final stretch from Ringlikon to Udliberg sees us climbing 130 meters in about 2.1 kilometers.
We are now um, on top of the uh, Utli Berg. Um, it was a great train ride, beautiful views, and um, the views from here are really stunning. Um, behind me, you can see the Alps, and uh, it's amazing, amazing weather, amazing views. So, um, definitely a great thing to come here. At a height of just over 800 meters, the Utliberg is definitely a dwarf compared to some of the alpine giants farther into the country. Nevertheless, the views over Zurich, Switzerland's largest city, make it a worthwhile destination, especially considering the train trip is only 20 minutes. In fact, my dad decided to hike his way back down to Zurich. Thank you so much for watching today. Switzerland is an amazing country and we hope to be able to come back to see more of its weird and cool railways sometime soon. Please subscribe to Trains Are Awesome and we'll see you next time.